Oh, you're so pretty. We have officially started the trek north. We left Ragged Island yesterday, and it was quite the eventful sail. And so we expected today to be more of the same, but worse because we had about a million reefs to navigate. Um, so it added extra stress onto it. So we thought it was gonna be terrible and we lucked out. The wind was not as crazy, it died down. So anyway, all gravy. Except for Jason does not like our anchorage. Hey, on Active Captain, it shows the pin drop literally right next to land, and we're probably 2,000 feet from land, right in the middle of a, of a cut, so we're going to get current all night. I doubt we'll sleep, but the next anchorage is like 40 nautical miles north, and we don't want to traverse anything at night because of all the coral heads. So it's that. Drink a beer, then maybe some rum. <laughs> and then maybe you can sleep. Then maybe you can sleep. <laughs> but the water is beautiful. Uh, should we raise the port? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All good so far. We are sailing from whatever island we were anchored at earlier to uh, Big Major. Big Major Key. And I just read online, that's where the pigs are, that the pigs were not killed by silly sailors. Thank goodness, like we assumed. Crazy lady. Anyway, a good day of sailing. And it's going to be nice to see the pigs again, just to see kind of what's up and see if there's somebody living on the island now to keep people away. A park warden, I think they said, was the plan. But seeing as that trimming the sails, I'm in the helm. We're doing about eight knots. We're flying! Big old guest came with this call. Had to go to our second reef point. That's one in the jib, our Genoa, one in the main. We're almost to our anchorage. We could have just, you know, turned on the engine, put down the sails all together, but no, we can sail a little further. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, there's a boat out there, but we've been racing him for quite some time now. And as you can tell by my camera angle, we're winning. <laughs> little piggy. Oh, getting your exercise. Yes, you are. Yes, you're getting your exercise. Oh, turn. No, 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 you don't have food. Run. Run. You can do it. We're going to shore. We're going up. Yeah. Yes. Nope, 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 nope. Well, hello. A very strange looking pig. Has anybody ever told you that? <laughs> Let those dudes soak. Uh, okay, so we left Daniel Key. And we saw the swimming pigs again, but this time they had a structure up and some corporate signs. And if you saw our video from Samuel Key previously, then you know there was some drama with the pigs. Some died, a bunch of fake news about it. Anyway, we are headed to Allen's, I think. I don't know, I'll let Jason tell you. We are heading to Allen's Key, and they are famous for the endangered Bahamian keep wanting to say lobster, iguana. The endangered Bahamian iguana, and apparently you can feed them as well, but we won't be feeding them because that's just not what we do. Yep. It's supposed to be a rolling anchorage, so we're suffering through the night to enjoy the iguanas. Hopefully they all come out in droves for all of us. We get back on the house. Coming from the west, so you north. just kind of get this much. 
The north. The north? Yeah. What did I say? The west. <laughs> Don't ask me for directions. <laughs> I see them. At least a few. They're all coming out. <laughs> What's up, guys? So many iguanas. much shows the size difference. They're very cool, but they're overly friendly because everybody feeds them. It's so like I'm charging. <laughs> yeah, so they come charging and whipping right around your leg. So yeah, very friendly. What about you? Did you have an iguana growing up? Oh yeah, I had, a, I had an iguana when I was young. He lived in a, a big fish tank that we had a solar light and fed him veggies. The thing you gotta watch out is not their teeth, not their sharp claws, but their tails because they'll go and just like wham, whip you, and it hurts. You're like ah. How's it going? Yeah, it's like they go wham, ah. <laughs> Look how many there are. That's so cool. Hasta luego. Bye, guanas. See you next time. I know they're not Spanish, but I can help myself. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Fairly certain you're still 10. <laughs> we are having vegetarian tacos because it's Taco Tuesday. And they are made with dried shiitake mushrooms. And I rehydrate them in a little broth. And then I caramelize some onions, add in some lentils. Some nice paprika, lemon lime seasoning, saute that up, and then there you go. Bam! Taco filling. Let's eat! of a washing machine day today. I don't know if you can hear me over the waves. It's pretty loud. We've got wind waves coming from this way, kind of knocking us that way, and we've got the swell coming from behind us, so we're surfing, but yet it's like bouncing from beam reach to downwind sailing. We have seen over 10 knots of speed over ground, which is pretty damn fast for us because we have surfed a few waves. But it's just been a day of washing machine craziness and dodging reefs or rocks uh, on our way to Nassau. We're gonna stock up the fridge with some veggies and then move along. Well, I wouldn't call this the uh, safest place to anchor just because of boat traffic and crazy current and the way everything's getting blown around, but I think it'll be just fine for a few hours. So we're at the gas station put in two gallons into the dinghy to pay for our dockage. I got one lock here locked up and then I had the engine locked up back there. How much was it? Two gallons? Uh, $8.56. Whew! Okay. Not too bad. Same grocery store chain as the other one we went to in Nassau. Didn't seem quite as nice, but still. Plenty of fresh veggies. Finally running out of litter. I don't like this litter, but... It's all they had. All they had. We're stocked the next three weeks. To get back to Florida. Hopefully this is the last grocery store run. So this first bridge here, you had to aim right for the mailboat to get through the highest part, almost hit it, and it was labeled at 59 feet on noon site. The one after said 64 or 68 or something. It was a close one. Uh, it's too light, that's blur. Yeah. But hey, we're passing the uh, lovely resort of Atlantis and a whole bunch of traffic and cruise ships. 
chips and we don't even go up to the first level. I can't even see the uh, Statue of Liberty thing without ducking down. <laughs> well, I don't know, the flowers behind it are pretty awesome too. So the last we left you, we were heading to West Bay in New Providence, which is where Atlas is, the, the underwater sculpture. And somehow we managed to whittle away an entire two weeks almost on New Providence. Yeah, like a week and a half, just one moving the boat yeah. like three times because of wet, like wind shifts. Blow from the east, blow from the west, yeah. blow from the north. And then all the time in between was pretty much our heads buried in a computer yeah. trying to get caught up on work and research and planning and everything that we need to take care of in the next month or two. Yes, it's been a, a crazy planning month for sure. Uh, we're out here in the middle of the ocean about 6,000 feet deep. Looks the same as it did when it was 1,000 feet deep. <laughs> yeah. We are downwind sailing and we had a challenge today because technically mm -hmm. our our spinnaker would work for downwind, but it is... The winds are right on the edge. Yeah, it's like 20 knot, 22 knot gust and sustained winds of 15, 16, 17. So it's fine if we're headed downwind and we have speed. Yeah. But if we slow down or anything at all happen, I, basically we're chickens. Yeah. Right? Uh, because we totally could be using it right now, but the idea of blowing it out or screwing it up scares us more. Then we feel it's worth it. Yeah, so, but we're doing five, between five and six, sometimes six and a half, depends on how fast we're surfing. With just the mainsail mm -hmm. out, we got the preventer on. So it's like keeping the mainsail out as far as possible to catch as much wind as possible. And, you know, six knots is fine. We're getting close to Andros, which is our destination for tonight. Yeah. We can't put the Genoa out, the front sail, because the mainsail would just mostly blanket it. So yeah. it wouldn't be getting any wind. Oh. We're actually uh, just now about to enter in a mine laying practice area, so that's exciting. <laughs> uh, good thing, I guess it's 6,000 feet down. Yeah, hopefully all the mines are down low. What is that? I wonder what that really means. I don't know. I'd Google it, but yeah. we don't have internet around no. here. No. Dolphins! Dolphins! Oh, oh my them. gosh! One, two, three, four, five! More. I can't yeah. tell. They I wish I had around. the polarizer on. <laughs> oh. Oh, no. oh, come on, So many. The most I've ever seen. So cool. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so many, you're almost touching them. We are up and gone before the sun. Land is way back there. And we're not just gone, we are flying with the spinnaker, which desperately needs to be trimmed. But I had to brag on ourselves just a little bit. Up early, spinnaker up, exciting day. And it's just getting started. Woo! Andros to Bimini. 
almost 100 nautical miles. We're at that point where it goes from a couple thousand feet down to 12, and there's fishing boats surrounding us, mocking us, making us feel absolutely horrible for losing our fishing line. Dang it, they're all catching. We could be catching. Only if we had extra fishing line. Never thought to bring extra fishing line. It's on the provision list for the future when we get back to Florida. New line, new rod, new reel, the whole enchilada. Jason's making me see coffee. Hold the salt. Hold the salt. I have bad news, and I have good news. Well, the good news is you're getting iced coffee. The bad news is we don't have ice cream, so it can't be an affogato. <gasps> I know, right? And we're out of the good coffee. So they have to be fine with the um, nitrogen infused store stuff. I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Coffee's. I'll be caffeinated. <laughs> Just enough. It is a lazy day aboard Curiosity. What are we cruising at? Like four knots? Yep. We're cruising at a whopping four knots. <laughs> and the seas are as, well, lazy as I am. We are trying to make it all the way to Bemini and the winds have picked up so we're going faster. We're at like six, six to seven knots now which is good uh, as long as it doesn't pick up too much. Then we can keep flying the spinnaker and I think we're going to make it. It's going to be late but it's all sand. It's shallow water but sandy. I think it's going to be fine. <laughs> A little unsure, but it's gonna be fine. Right? Right. right. How about right. you, Megan? Singa's not worried. Oh, making tofu tacos. Woohoo! It is Tuesday. Taco Oh, that was the craziest thing. Huh. The moment we decided to take down the spinnaker and switch sides, the <laughs> the wind kicked up at the exact moment. So I thought it was so strange. She's like, here I am. I'm totally dead downwind. I'm still clicking over. Hair wind's not getting any less. I throw the engine on, pull it, push it forward, and yet our apparent wind was increasing. It was freaking me out. Anyway, our wind picked up like at that exact moment. So now we're actually above Spinnaker wind. So we threw out the Genoa. Yeah, welcome to sailing. I like it. Yeah. Always a challenge. Uh, and weird. always when dinner is almost yeah. ready. <laughs> That's okay. We'll eat later. <laughs> She always talks in Spanish. Well, we're almost there, sort of. What's the first thing you're gonna do when you get to Florida? Oh, it's a toss up. I'm gonna have to choose between, or maybe I don't choose. I'm going to the store, that's for sure. I'm gonna get some fruit and probably some ice cream. <laughs> Priorities, right? Oh, and contemplate 
all the stuff we have to do over the next 30 days. It's a gonna lot. be intense. Man. I'm excited. Yay. I'm excited about it because I feel like there's a whole lot we're gonna get done, right? Like great stuff to the boat, like just tackle a whole bunch of stuff. Get to pick up our crew. It's gonna be great. But there's also a lot of work. Like there's a lot of stuff we have to do with the boat. Yeah. Overwhelming a little. How about you? I guess I'm most excited about visiting a brewery. Uh, ah, yeah, I think so. I kind of forgot all about this. Yeah, those things exist. Good breweries? There's a couple in Fort Lauderdale that are worth visiting, so. Uh, I think a brewery. And of course, it's super sad to end our amazing adventure in the Bahamas with two knots of wind motoring through the flat Gulf Stream, but no. I guess it sure as hell beats pounding head to wind and 10 foot waves against the stream, so it is what it we'll, is. We'll the, take it, but yeah. this morning was awesome. The spinnaker was flying, we were doing like eight knots with the spinnaker this morning when we came out. We're supposed to have 10 knots of wind all day and died, died, two knots of wind. Just, that's mother nature for you, you can't predict her. But you can predict that there's gonna be some good beer in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> that's exciting. Smell no, nice. Yeah. <laughs> Yummy. Six months of salt. I'm just glad I'm not the one docking it. I'll do a really good job on Twitter. <laughs> Thanks. It's been so long. Good until we get into that marina and then I'll get nervous, but I can do it. I think. No, I can't. I forgot how industrial. I mean, I didn't forget, but it's been a while. It's really very industrial all through here. It's kind of crazy. <sighs> Nikki did a hell of a job. Getting us into the dock. Man, you're really good, Nikki. <laughs> you don't have to give me that. <laughs> oh, seeing a super love in the air conditioner. That's the first time we've had that on in a while. I just called the 1 800 number for customs in Florida. Got an arrival number from US Customs. They said I have to go within 24 hours, or we have to go within 24 hours, take our passports to a customs office. So that's where we're going. Then maybe we'll swing by the grocery store and then we'll come back. I just put some bubbly into the fridge and I figured we'd end this video the same way we started our Bahamas adventure. Shibongin! Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh, miss the little smart car. The right side of the road. Yep, yeah, there's a stop sign. <laughs> 1,000 feet, turn left onto Northeast 5th Avenue. It's been a while. in like 10 minutes, so they're either going to love us or hate us. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, that was insanely easy. Like, got your information? Okay, there you go. Like, way easier than the airport, which is really wild. About to happen. See the excitement on her body. I'm trying to contain myself with the happiness level. Well, we made it. Right? Yeah. Got your ice cream. Made it to the Bahamas. Got some more ice cream. <laughs> made it home. Got some more ice cream. Oh. Woo! Party. All right, our first, what? Successful sailing adventure. Sailing adventure. It's a 
too many more. And then you wonder if you did it right the first time, and you're like, well, I should probably do it one more time to make sure I did it right. It's just really hard to swallow that much public <laughs> stuff. Okay, well. Cheers, guys. Thanks for being with us. I'm part of the yeah. I'm exhausted. Yeah, exhausted. That was a long <laughs> trip home. It wasn't even that long. I think it's just, yeah, all the cumulative days. Yeah. 30 days. Hit it again? Just a little oh, I'll do one. just a little bit. <laughs> yeah. That might have been too much. Yeah, that's good, that's good, that's good.